Are all RM Williams' Chelsea boots the same? If you're overseas and all that you know of RM Williams is their Craftsman line, then you'd think so, but you'd be wrong. G'day, how are you going? Welcome back to my channel, Bootlosophy, and my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands and waters that I work on, the Wajit people. So I have in front of me a selection of my RM Williams' uh, boots, my Chelsea boots made by them. For an Australian, RM Williams is an iconic footwear and clothing brand. Just a few decades ago, they were worn by almost everybody. Uh, from stockyard workers up in the north, uh, to farmers in the south, and even lawyers and accountants in boardrooms. They were affordable to all. Things have changed, but I'll talk about that later. If you're watching from overseas, you'll be most familiar uh, with this, their craftsman model. But if you were standing in front of a store window, uh, looking at the shelves inside the store, you would see most of these models and think that they sell just one boot in a big variety of uppers. However, let me take you through their different models. And this is just a selection that I put together to talk about their lasts, and you see that they really are different. As I said, this is the Craftsman, or to be more exact, the classic Craftsman with the uh, leather outsole and in this 20-something year old boot, a leather insole. They sell less of these nowadays and more of these. Uh, the Comfort Craftsman, same upper design, same last, in uh, this one in CF Stead suede, but it has a rubber outsole and a comfort liner insole. Uh, while initially looking similar, this is the Macquarie model, also in a CF Stead suede. If you look closer, you can see that the toe is a lot more pointed, and I'll talk about the comfort of that when I talk lasts. Uh, this one, this is their Gardner boot. You can also get the same boot with a Vibram Commando lugged sole and Chrome XL uppers, uh, or sometimes what RM calls pull-up uppers, uh, that are like but are not Halloween's Chrome XL. This one is in uh, New Zealand tanned kip leather. Now, this one, uh, not looking dissimilar after all because of the same round toe, uh, this is the Urban Turnout in Newbuck on a Vibram red brick Commando sole, soft compound. Uh, whereas this one, is also a turnout, uh, and it's called their Comfort Turnout. The same uppers in the uh, yearling leather, on a rubber outsole, and with the same Comfort Liner insole as the Comfort Craftsman. And finally, uh, one of their newer boots, the Comfort Goodwood in Bark Crazy Horse, rubber outsole, uh, and the same Comfort Liner insole. Uh, just before I go on, uh, as I talk about these boots, I'll put a card up in the top corner now and then so you can see some of my reviews. But I am limited to put five, and I have reviewed all of these. So what I'll do is uh, I'll also put a link to all the reviews in the description area down uh, below the video if you want to deep dive into the different models. I'll also put an affiliate link to their website down there also. Now, it won't cost you more, but if you are thinking of buying a pair and you use the link, I'll get a 6% commission to help me run this channel. And also to help me, I'd love it if you can click on like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's take a look at the lasts that RM use. It is the lasts that make a boot look different from another model. If you don't know, a last is a foot-shaped mold, uh, like this vintage one I have, uh, that a bootmaker pulls the uppers around to form the boot that you see. A different shaped last creates a different shaped boot. RM used to actually hand last their boots, but with the coming of the cheaper machine age and high labour costs, I think about a couple of decades ago, they switched to hand guided machine lasting where the uppers are put on the last by hand and then guided into a machine with mechanical fingers that kind of pull it over the last. RM are ridiculously silent about their different lasts on their website. Uh, all they will say when they describe different boots is retail store language like uh, a comfortable round toe or um, the classic chisel toe. <laughs> RM are a company who nowadays think like a high-end fashion retail brand rather than a bootmaker brand. But that's a philosophy for each brand to choose, isn't it? 
what works for one may not work for another. At any rate, in order to research their lasts, <laughs> I have had to take hours to search through retailer websites and their catalogues, especially the English retailers who seem to really care about lasts, in order to discover the names of the different lasts and their characteristics. Now, each Chelsea boot model is different. And let me show you why. Taking the Craftsman, uh, whether classic or comfort, they share the same last. This is called their B543 last. It's designed on a low heel, and a similar variation for a high heel has other letters behind that 543 moniker. The B543 last is slightly elongated because it has that uh, flat angled sides that taper into the toe. It does need that elongated shape so as not to squeeze your toes when it tapers in at the front of the foot. As a result, you may find that there's actually more room in front of your toes than you're used to. For me, there's quite a bit more than the usual thumb's width. Uh, the characteristic of the B543 is the chisel toe. It tapers into a sharp toe, but then it's cut off into a square at the tip looking like a chisel. Hence, it's often referred to as the chisel toe craftsman. Uh, the next last is used on the Macquarie boot. This is their B555 last, or uh, if used with a higher heel like in the yearling models, the B522. The B555 is a slim last and also has a tapered toe shape, but this time it tapers into a narrow round toe and, and quite dressy because it's pointy like European dress shoes. Uh, again, in order uh, not to squish your toes, it is an elongated last. Uh, take a look at it next to the Craftsman. Same size. Now compare it to the Gardner, also same size. Again, expect more room in the Macquarie in front of your toe uh, than a normal service boot. And then there's the B530 last as used on the Gardner and the Turnout boots. I will use this uh, mustard uh, Newbuck Urban Turnout. Bear in mind that using the same last, the fact that the uppers and outsoles are different from the Gardner uh, and from the gar uh, Comfort Turnout, it actually doesn't make any difference to the boot shape. Which if I hold up this uh, Urban Turnout next to the Gardner, you can see uh, exactly the same. The B530 last is a round toe last. It is slightly wider in the forefoot than the Craftsman's B543. See, it's a bit wider and certainly wider than the Macquarie's B555. This means that while it has a rounded almond toe shape, it has room in the toe box because the taper starts a lot further up uh, in the front. The B530 was modeled after an old work boot last to provide comfort in the yard. You find that the room in front of the toes is very similar to a service boot, and it fits that old, you know, thumbs width measure. For wider round toe styles like the Tambo boot, which I don't have, they base it on this last, but they make it wider, and they call it the B520 last. But then, as round toe as it is, and as comfortable as it is for a work boot, compare it to the new Goodwood model. If I hold them up next to each other, you can see the Goodwood, same size, same width in theory, looks even wider and rounder at the toes. I have to tell you, despite being the same size and width, I wear the Gardner or the Turnout with a normal sock, but I wear the Goodwood with a thick boot sock. Now, I don't know what the last name is for the Goodwood. Looking at the shape compared to the B530 in the, in the Gardner uh, and, and, the, and, the, and the Turnouts, I suspect it's a variant of the same last. I, now, I don't have a Tambo boot in order to compare it, but this might be the Tambo's B520 last or yet another variant. It's actually a very roomy last and is less snug at the ball of the feet, but not sloppy. There's certainly plenty of room in the toe box, but still having only that thumb's width uh, in front of you. And it does feel like a, like a chonkier service boot. And as you can see, it rounds off a lot rounder uh, than the Gardner, which definitely qualifies as an almond-shaped toe. So all that being said, if you're new to RM Williams and you want to buy one because it's a classic Chelsea boot, or uh, because it's made in Australia, or you simply want one in your collection, which one should you buy? Before I answer that, let me tell you I'm, I'm not going into the controversy of how bad the QC is today. Now, while they certainly have changed materials, bearing in mind that the last decade at least has seen a push for comfort 
and hence the use of pore run and the like in traditional heritage boots. Yes, while materials have changed, my experience personally is that QC has not completely deteriorated, social media aside. This Craftsman is my oldest. It's over 20 years old now, and I had this topi put onto the leather sole because the leather was starting to thin under the ball. But otherwise, despite being used to dig out my Land Cruiser from black soil mud in the wet season, uh, despite having had to swim in them when a, a tinny capsized in the river, they're going strong. This Goodwood is my latest. Uh, and to be honest, it's stupid to compare an old all leather boot with a boot made with comfort in mind and incorporating soft materials for the high end shopper. As I've always said in my reviews, it is horses for courses. If you're a Pacific Northwest boot loyalist, don't buy the newer models. That's your course. Ride your horse. Are they worth today's prices though? 650 Aussie dollars. Go and see my reviews. I have always vacillated. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, and I've come up with different reasons why they are and why they're not. Now, I have to be honest, this may reveal more about me and my loyalties as an Australian for an Australian brand, and also for an Australian brand that I once had such good products from. I may not be the best person to ask. So that aside, which should you buy? Guess what, horses for courses. If this is your first pair of RMs, you can't go past the Craftsman models. Just choose if you like the slim leather outsole or the comfort version. Otherwise, do you like elongated lasts? If you do, I think the Macquarie is such an elegant dressy last and would really suit as a dress boot, perhaps in a, in a smooth leather rather than a suede. If you're looking for a better made Blundstone, get either the Gardener or maybe pay extra and get the, the Gardener with the Commando sole or get the Goodwood, my current favorite pull-on anytime boot. So that's my take on the different last used by RM Williams. They are all Chelsea boots, but they don't all look or even wear alike. Before you go, remember to click on like, and of course, I'd love it if you subscribe and wait for my other reviews and boot info videos uh, that I'm making. Don't be a stranger. Until next time, take care out there and see you back here soon.